Hello everyone. My name is Bandana and I am going to tell a story. Nene. This is a story of a brave lady of Assam. Time of this story is during independence of India. Duty called a lady education officer of Assam to start her duty from very remote areas of Nefa. Nefa is the abbreviation for North East Frontier Agency. Now most of the Nefa falls under Arunachal Pradesh. At that time, Nefa was very remote and socially underdeveloped. No formal education was started in Nefa. Soon after the independence of India, our national government desired that Nefa should be enlightened with the spread of education and should be brought up to the mainstream. All people of Nefa were mostly tribes. They were intolerant of outsiders. In some parts of Nefa, people even killed strangers. So government wanted to educate these people of Nefa and for that it appointed a very brave lady. The government official called the lady officer and offered her two options. She could officiate her duty from Sadia, which was a part of Nefa, but very troublesome place. Or she could monitor the entire walk from Shillong, the then capital of Assam, and also the hometown of the lady. The second option seemed to be better for the officer as a lady. However, the lady chose the first because she wanted to be a part of our workplace. Soon the time arrived when she had to start her journey towards the hilly terrain of Nefa, which was far, far distant from civilization. The only means of transportation was horses. A lady officer of that time and on a horse. Is not it unbelievable? The day arrived of her journey. She selected another two talented and brave officers with her, Muktinat Bordoloi and Ram Prasad Khand. They arrived on horses to her home to accompany her. Seeing them on horses, the lady in Meklasadar said, Give me half an hour, I will be get ready. She went inside. After exactly half an hour, she came out in a very suitable and wonderful dress. A mekhila stitched in the form of a pant suitable for riding. Do you know? She herself stitched that dress. The name of this brave and intelligent lady was Indira Medi, the first Assamese chief education officer. She was graduated from Scottish Church College, Kolkata. She was married to Mohichandra Miri. And do you know that Mohichandra Miri was the man behind establishment of the world famous reserve forest, that is Kajiranga. But Indira Miri's life was not very smooth. After giving birth to three children, Indira Miri lost her husband. After that, she started a new life by educating herself from Edinburgh University of London and joined government service as the chief education officer. There was another interesting story. Once, the then Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru visited Dibrugar to see Assam's overall development. Indira Miri was deputed to welcome him by children's program. Muktinat Bordoloi taught the children a song to welcome the Prime Minister. In those days, there was an instruction from Nehru that no one should make the tribes the second edition of Indians. That means they should be kept as it is. But Indira Miri dared to dress the tribal children in uniforms alike to other non-tribal children. She followed the philosophy that every children is uniform in class, so everybody should wear uniform. In fact, she was the first to start uniforms in Assam schools. Indira Mary was so attached and absorbed 
in the tribal society of Nefa that she was termed Nini, that is mother for them. Her stories of bravery and kindness are endless. She was the recipient of Padma Sri and Sankar Deva Award. Indira Miri is a great inspiration for all of us. Thank you.